Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I want to visit again the EVLink cast functionality uh, which allows you to cre create these dashboards that you can see here. So this could be a central control for your house where you can create multiple different dashboards uh, let's say per room or per like upstairs or downstairs of your house so you can create these various layouts and I've covered the functionality of this in various different videos uh, there was a recent update um, I think probably about a month ago but the most recent development is that it is now available as an app so for iOS there is a, an application in the App Store which is called the EVLink Cast which you can see here and um, excuse me for this uh, case but I don't have an iPad this is my kids iPad you download the app you log in with a QR code so you read the QR code from your EVLink um, app on your phone and that's how it gets linked and this gets added as a new device uh, to your EVLink account so you will see so if I go here I can see this cast tablet on my NS Panel Pro um, and the reason it is available here because I can call it and that's the new functionality in the app which wasn't available in a web version so it takes a little bit of time but as you can see the call is going to go through I'm not going to just open it because then it's going to have a horrible feedback noise but you can now call it uh, from the devices so you can edit as a device and you can edit uh, here as well so you have a voice call button and then the cast tablet appears and you can call it from here as well so uh, and the same available here as well so you open up this side note bar and in the voice call you see the as ns panel pro but if you have multiple tablets then all of them would show up here so if you have well, you can have a mix of NS Panel Pros and the cast iPads throughout your house and then you can just, you know, call them each other as an intercom uh, or, well, obviously you can just control them as a touchscreen. I haven't really figured out the group call yet, so you can just call individual devices uh, one after the other. But uh, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, this was the new functionality and the new feature. But since we are um, here, I just wanted to show some of the things that I might not have mentioned in the, in the last update. I think I've already talked about that for multi-channel uh, devices, you can um, create these larger widgets so you can uh, control each of the channel individually or you can just still use the old layout where you control each of the channel like in, in a, in a pop-up window like this and it is similar to how you can do it here as well. I mean here on the S Panel Pro it will always come up as a separate screen so for example for CH Pro you will have channel one two three and then you can see that they align light up here as well and uh, these um, energy usage and the temperature widgets were available before as well um, also just mind me that most of my devices are offline so I only turn them off so the graph doesn't really show a graph because it has been only running for a couple of hours but normally it will show you the temperature you know based on the uh, well if I switch to R you can see a little bit of history here um, and up until now I think it was available for um, Zigbee sensors but now you can see my, TA, my old TH10 is here my TH Elite is here um, so yeah they are available and then from the individual sensors you can just call up this uh, smaller screen and um, e, what is it I think for POW yeah you can just switch them on and off um, so the small tile operates it and then you can pr uh, include a bigger tile which shows the widget uh, sorry the graph you can now add a clock which is just a clock we already had the the weather and the start and the uh, calendar and there is also like a text object which I guess you can leave additional messages here on the screen mm, maybe if it's uh, let's say it's a rental property so you can leave some instructions here on the cast screen so I think it's nice it looks good and of course I've already configured one single uh, screen but as I said you can create multiple screens but it can also connect to my iHost uh, which is uh, 
also running here. So you can connect to an EV-Link account and a local iHost, which is running on the same network. And this is a completely different dashboard that I have configured on the iHost. Again, I've covered this in separate videos. It looks pretty much the same um, and it can be configured in the same way. There are some additional functionalities. So this uh, IP camera stream is only available on the iHost screen. And again, this only works locally, but then uh, you have to give it a couple of seconds, uh, but it will be able to load my, the, the stream from my IP camera. And the reason this widget is not working because this is a sensor that I reassigned from iHost to something else. But as you can see, we have a weather widget, we have the clock widget and a couple of you know different sensors that you can operate it or you can look at the history. Um, and yeah, it, it operates my touch as well, which is uh, also linked to my EVLink account uh, through one of the integration. And of course, when I want to demo the IP camera feed, it doesn't load, but it was uh, loading it previously. And I had to wait a little bit for this feed to load. Uh, it looks like it varies a lot. So previously it was loaded like in five seconds. Now I had to wait until like, you know, 20 seconds. It gets a little bit windy outside, but at least you can see that this is a moving live feed and not just a single image. And before I conclude this whole EVLink cast and the new application, I just want to show you the, uh, the editor as well. So that's the web evlink.cc uh, slash cast. And that's the single screen that, uh, well, sorry, the, sing yeah, the single dashboard that I've created. And uh, the, I just want to show you this new addition. Um, so I already discussed the fact that you can resize some of the controls like these ones. But then the ones that come with a graph are indicated with this graph icon here on the on the side so you can see yeah i still have the pow which i can put on a graph but it's not really connected to anything so it's not going to show much anyway so that's how it looks like in the editor there's nothing new in the scenes there is nothing well sorry uh on the charts you can the de um deselect any of these like you put on the th10 then it automatically includes a chart and also includes the uh, the actual tile to operate it but then if you don't need the chart you can just disable it here in the in the chart tab under temperature and humidity and the same for power consumption if you want to do that and in the settings we can now choose from four different colors but i think that was uh, that was the case previously as well and that's how that's where i enabled the clock and the custom text that you can see here so again you can't really do anything with a custom text it's just a, a piece of text and uh, that's that's pretty much it and don't forget to save you know, click on save at the end and since we are here i also want to show you the the new web u interface so this is the web version which is just like a dashboard but it's really just the website and previously it was looking like this so it was uh, sort of like an older school layout um, you know with these um, uh, Apple style buttons or sliders and then uh, for certain uh, gadgets or sorry for certain devices you get a widget for you know for example for the S panel to change the temperature for you know the um, uh, power consumption devices you get these free gadgets where you can see the power consumption and yeah for anything which has a temperature you also get a little bit of history this is the function well this is the this is the sync screen that got updated now to version 3.0 so now you can see that it is a more uh, cleaner and a more refined user interface and and this is in line with the user interface that we are seeing on the iHost so you have these buttons on the side and sort of like um, additional things on the tab and then you have the main viewing area and then for all of the devices you have a, a tile and you can see that for some devices it says non supported for some of them it says offline but the, the use of it is very simple you know you click on it you get this pop-up screen you also have some properties and then and then it disappears and if you have multi-gang then that's how it looks like or if you have a temperature and the humidity sense so if you have something which has some sensors as well then you have an additional thing where you can see the graph so temperature and humidity here and you can ch uh, uh, change the resolution you can download the information as well um, and same for like a pow which you know shows consumption and um, Maybe it's this one which has more data. Yeah, I think. Or should have more data, but maybe it just doesn't. I don't know which one is uh, connected to my washing machine. 
and that's pretty much it. So, uh, you know, it is coming, it is going to be developed, so there will be more support in the future. And up until now, I was showing you this homepage here, but you can see that there is going to be a scenes, a cast, a firmware update, and some settings here as well, which only contains, uh, you know, switching languages. So based on this, I have a feeling that they want to turn this web interface into like an alternative uh, interface for the, uh, the mobile application, but not only just to view your devices, but do all the management. So you should be able to do scenes at some point from here and also, you know, screens and, you know, update firmware of uh, the various devices. So that will be coming in the future, but um, that's how the future looks like. And I think with this I got to the end of this uh, review video, so if you are interested in any of these, I will try to leave links to each of these, you know, webs, uh, AV link, advanced plan and cast in the video description. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.